The video you are about to view is intended to provide an overview of basic tow vehicle operating procedures in a corporate aircraft environment. You must consult your tow vehicle's manufacturer's recommended operating practices for specific operating procedures, limitations, and training requirements. The specific aircraft manual should also be consulted. In addition, you must consult your local compliance standards for the operation of powered industrial trucks and the operating specifications for your type and brand of truck. Hi, I'm Dave White. Welcome to the first installment in a series of video productions designed to educate professionals on the safe use of powered industrial trucks. In this first video, we'll outline the safe operating practices for aircraft tow tractors. We'll demonstrate both the tow bar and the tow barless tractors. Now we've included examples of routine checklists, inspections, and best practices for the safe operation of any tow tractor. If you're the operator, then you're working in close proximity to some very expensive aircraft. And wouldn't you agree that the equipment you're using should be in the best condition possible? Well, daily inspections on tow tractors help prevent accidents that can cost your company millions of dollars, cost you your reputation, and potentially your career. Every day, an operator or another designated employee of your company should complete and log an inspection of your towing equipment. This is an example of the kind of things you should be looking for on your daily inspections. Just like pre-flights on aircraft, a checklist and signature log should be kept for each inspection completed prior to the first use of the day. Before you select your tow vehicle, determine if it's the right tool for the job. Know what its limitations are. Understand the relationship between a tow vehicle and an aircraft and select the appropriate tractor or tug to complete the job. Check your equipment's limitations placard or reference the operating manual. The following are examples of daily pre-operational checks. What do the tires look like? Are there damaged treads or sidewalls? Are they properly inflated? Are there missing lug nuts? Check the battery. Are the cell caps in place? Is there any corrosion on the cables or on the terminals? According to your company guidelines, Check the fluid levels, specifically the oil and coolant, before you start the tow vehicle. Look at the towing connections and hardware. Are the welds sound, not separated or cracked? Is there anything that looks distorted or bent? Look for general wear and tear of parts and basic operation of locking pins and safety clips. For tow barless tractors, make sure the emergency disconnect switch is not blocked. Check the strap safety clip, and back support plate and look for any fluid leakage indicating a potential problem. Take a look at your safety equipment. The OSHA rule is, if your tow vehicle is equipped with it, it has to work. If equipped with a seat belt, does it work? Are there any torn or damaged places on the belt strap? Test the lights and the horn. When starting your equipment, Make sure that the foot brake and the parking brake are engaged. This is a precaution against unwanted and unexpected movements. Check the brakes and verify the brake pedal. The pedal should not go all the way to the floor. The tow vehicle should not be able to move when the parking brake is set. After you start the vehicle, take note of any unusual sounds. Check your instrumentation for any unusual indications. Is the power steering pump working? Is there excessive play in the steering wheel? If there is a problem with either type of tractor, put an out-of-service tag with a signature and date on it that declares that it is unsafe for use and requires service. This tag-out program assures no one else will use it after failing the daily pre-operational check. Maintain a record of your inspections, findings, and repairs in your equipment log for future reference. A vehicle should never be operated when it's in need of service or maintenance as defined by your pre-operational inspection or the manufacturer's inspection checks. We've just covered some general procedures for inspecting your tow vehicle. 
you should consult your manufacturer's maintenance manuals for other detailed inspection requirements, including flushing of fluids, brake servicing, oil changes, lubrication intervals, and more. And of course, always think safety. Your safety begins before you even get on the tow vehicle. Be aware of your surroundings as you approach the vehicle on the ramp or in the hangar. Just like flight crews do before flying an aircraft, you need to survey the condition of your tow vehicle and the surrounding area before you attempt to start the vehicle. You need to make this scan a habit every time you approach motorized vehicles of any kind. OSHA has stipulated this requirement for tow vehicles, forklifts, vertical lift equipment, and more. Some things you should look for on the tow vehicle are leaks. Be sure there are no leaks. Are the wheel chocks in the proper position if used? The wheel position, to know where the vehicle is heading when it begins movement. The parking brake position must be set. Check the overall condition of the vehicle. Look for an out of service tag, meaning use of the vehicle is not allowed. Some things you should look for in the surrounding area include the proximity of nearby aircraft, the position of other equipment such as power units, cords, drain buckets, tow bars, etc. What is behind you? Check the floor surface condition, wet or dry. Are there people in the area? And environmental conditions such as day or night, rain or snow. Prior to movement, perform a FOD check on board your tow vehicle. Remove any trash or unsecured items or secure anything you intend to transport. Securing all loose items is critical so nothing falls out or gets blown out by wind or an unexpected engine blast. When starting your equipment, make sure that both the foot brake and the parking brake are engaged. This is a precaution against unwanted and unexpected movements. Scan your area for the safest path to your ultimate destination. Avoid congested aircraft parking and people if possible. If it's absolutely necessary to drive a tow vehicle under a fuselage or wing, it should be handled with extreme caution, as damage or serious injury may occur. It should only be conducted with the assistance of others to monitor your clearance and other hazards. Much like in aircraft operations, it's a good practice for ground support personnel to test the tow vehicle's brakes before you move to your destination. It's much safer to make sure your brakes work correctly before you obtain normal operating speeds in close proximity to million dollar equipment. Once you begin moving to your destination, there are several safety practices that should be followed at all times. Driving speed in congested areas should be limited to walking speed. Slow down when you suspect that the surface can be slick or contaminated with hydraulic fluids, fuel, water, snow, ice, or de-icing fluid. Keep both your legs and feet inside the equipment at all times. Do not allow riders to sit on portions of the tow vehicle other than a qualified passenger seat. Do not use the vehicle surfaces to transport materials or equipment at any time under any conditions. Always wear your seat belt if your tow vehicle is equipped with them. It's generally a best practice to lead a tow bar while driving your tow vehicle. Pushing one can be a jackknifing hazard and is a distraction to the driver. Do not allow individuals that approach you while in operation to distract you. Always stop the vehicle before you address or speak to them. They might not be aware of the responsibility and focus required to operate the tow vehicle. Never allow anyone to jump on or off of your moving vehicle. Stop the vehicle immediately and address the situation. Continue to scan your path for safety threats that may appear. For example, chocks on the ground or the threshold of a hangar door. As you approach your destination, it's a good practice to retest your brakes before you must stop. Don't wait until the last moment to find out that you may have a problem. When approaching an aircraft, Always stop with the vehicle facing or pointed away from the nose of the aircraft. In the event of an unplanned vehicular movement, this safety positioning would reduce the risk of striking the aircraft. A good practice is to remain outside a 10-foot circle of safety around an aircraft at all times. Before you dismount the tow vehicle, put it in park, apply the parking brake, and turn the engine off.
You should never leave a motorized vehicle running and unattended when near an aircraft. Always turn off your equipment. Depending on your company policies, it's also a good practice to chalk your vehicle on the rear wheel closest to the driver's seat before you walk away. This also acts as a reminder to visually scan the area behind the vehicle when you return later to move it. Regarding tow barless vehicles, much of the same applies. Neutralize the shift lever, set the parking brake, and turn off the power. Remember, you're responsible for your safety and the safety of the people and equipment around you. Check out your tractor, check out your surroundings, and think before you move, approach, or park. Make safety a habit and you'll protect yourself and others and of course, those expensive airplanes.